How do? I want to get you started with carving. So all I want you to do is get yourself a block of wood, a chisel, nothing flash, the sharper the better though, a little knife, a little standing knife would be brilliant, helps for little carving bits, and let's call this block of wood a mallet. There's two techniques to carving. One, always carve downhill. The second is to use a cut to cut technique. Let's see what's going on. So what do we mean by carving downhill? Well, exactly that. Always carve into the wood so you push the grains and the fibers down to give a nice flat surface. If we try and carve uphill, the wood will split. And who knows what ugly surface that's going to leave. So, here to explain wood grain is Professor Christoph von Woodwerker. So, the wood grain is very interesting. Imagine wood grain like this pile of straws. Okay? If we chisel down into there, that will push each of these straws together and keep them compressed. If we try and pull the straws upwards like that, it's going to split them apart. Look, straight away we'll see that. Now, sometimes wood grain doesn't lie completely flat like that. Your plank might run that way, but the grain sometimes runs that way. So you end up with a flat top like that. So if you, even if you want to chisel something really flat, you need to figure out which way the grain's running. You might not physically be pointing your chisel down, it might be running across your plank of wood, but you need to go in the correct direction. If you find that when you push your chisel or planes or anything that's got a sharp blade on it, if you find it's just creating little nicks across the top, change direction. It means your plane's running against the grain. Start going the other way and it'll compress those fibres and keep them beautifully flat. Now to clean that up and take off more waste, use the chisel bevel down, that's the angled bit, and we get to tap away controlling the angle of the chisel to leave a nice flat surface. Now let's try to relief carve a semicircle. Draw one out roughly with a pencil and then score it with a knife to give a definitive edge. Now here's where we use the cut to cut technique. We have the cut that we made with the knife and then we make small cuts with the chisel up to that knife mark. And you see it chips away beautifully. Repeat that until you get as deep as you want. Now, once you've taken away the edge, we go back to carving downhill again. Now this time, we're talking downhill in relation to the grain pattern. You see how the stripes go across the wood? And I'm carving down across those grains. We're certainly not carving up. This is where you might need to turn your piece around. Never, ever chisel towards yourself. Give it a quick blast with some sandpaper to smooth it out. And hey, presto, you've carved yourself half a circle. Easy peasy. Well, I hope you have a go. 
We've got some more videos coming up about carving, making something a little bit more interesting, but taking the same techniques that we've just learned here. Sharpen your tools and I'll see you soon.